YouTube, what's good with you? Uh, hopefully everybody's doing well. I uh, just wanna say a big thanks to everybody that's subscribed to the channel and anybody that's been commenting. Uh, I appreciate it guys, I appreciate it a whole lot. Never thought my channel would even gain any traction at all. <laughs> but uh, seriously, I do appreciate everybody that's commenting and subscribing to the channel. If you're new, obviously this is a car channel. Uh, mostly gonna be talking about the 392 uh, 2021 uh, Dodge Charger 392 Scat Pack wide body is pretty much what I per purchased recently. It's been about a little over two weeks now since I've had it, and uh, just gonna be talking about the car and just talking about you know Dodge products in general. So uh, today, actually yesterday, I was thinking about you know my purchase, and I was thinking you know is the 392 really worth it? Um, you know compared to like a Hellcat or even maybe an RT. Uh, you know the 5.7 um, like why would somebody want to buy a 392 as opposed to either one the RT or the Hellcat or even the Red Eye of course that just came out the Charger or even the Challengers of course the Challengers um, you know being two doors obviously is the biggest difference but for me I did want the four doors so that's the reason why I got you know this 2021 Dodge Charger 392 um, you know white body so um, but also, there are the slim body chargers that you can get, you know, for the four for the uh, four door obviously vehicles. But they don't have the wide body look. They they're just a slim body, of course, because they have the smaller tires from the 245s all around all seasons to the uh, 275s. So, but I think the real question for me was, you know, why did I choose to get the 392? wide body charger and that's kind of what I want to talk about today and I'm just gonna go pick up some coffee real quick before I get started with work and uh, just see what you guys opinion is um, I did say I was gonna do a full review on the car it's just that the weather here is it's been up and down <laughs> so today it's a little bit sunnier but it's like a deceiving cold so it's kind of hard to make content on the car especially when I'm trying to clean it up and show it on the video uh, you know with all the salt on the road and stuff like that it makes it a little bit difficult but anyway I definitely will get into a full review of the vehicle pretty soon here but for now I just wanted to talk about why I chose to get this car instead of a Hellcat um, whether it's brand new or used or even an RT so give me one second guys I'm gonna pick up some coffee real quick and I'll chop it up with you in just a second Alright YouTube family, so just got my coffee now to head out. Um, so like I was saying, I wanted to talk about why I chose to get this car and why anybody would choose to buy a 392 Scat Pack white body uh, as opposed to a slim body or the RT or a Hellcat. Now, I'm seeing a lot of people buying these cars, especially the slim body models. And I think one of the biggest reasons is that a lot of people understand the type of power that's in this car, but at the same time, um, obviously because the wide bodies have recently been introduced, you know, from I think 2019 or so, 2020 obviously, and then 2021, uh, there wasn't really a wide body before, uh, unless you were getting a kit or something like that. So now that everybody has a chance to get the wide body, you know they're starting to pop up uh, to be honest with you i've only seen one wide body so far and that was when i drove to chicago i made a video where i drove to chicago uh i drove over to the adler planetarium area or the field museum if you live in chicago if you're familiar with the uh, chicago that's where i was and there was uh, one guy with a wide body there a red one uh but that's the only one i've seen on the road so far i haven't seen one anywhere near even where i live or anywhere um so that's just to say, you know, they're starting to pop up here and there, but there aren't too many of them. And one of the biggest reasons I bought the vehicle is, well, first of all, the price, uh, and second of all, the wheels and the tune on the vehicle, specifically for the wide body. Because remember, the tune on this car is specific to the wide body model. So it doesn't necessarily sit or drive similar to the, uh, slim body models whether you have the 245 or 275 wheels the suspension is a little bit different um, even some of the technology as well is just slightly different so with that being said um, 
the reason I got this car is because I didn't want the 275s. I definitely wanted the 305s because you do need the grip in this car. And if you've ever gone to a uh, dealership to test drive any one of these cars, you will immediately realize the difference between the slim body and the wide body. It's very obvious. Uh, at least to somebody who understands cars if you don't really care about that kind of stuff you probably won't really care but for me i noticed it immediately so uh with that being said i only wanted the wide body regardless of whether it was a 392 or a hellcat so i started to do some research did some digging some comparisons so at first i figured you know what maybe i don't need 485 horsepower 500 horsepower car maybe i just need the rt you know, because I've had a 5.7 before, but that was in the Chrysler product, uh, you know, way back in the day or whatever. So I was like, maybe I don't need all that power. Maybe I should look at the RTs. And I looked at the RTs and they just weren't appealing to me at all. So the RT was completely out. <laughs> and not only that, it doesn't come in the wide body form. So that made it even worse. So the RT was completely rolled out, not just because of the power, but because it didn't have the wide body option. Otherwise, I would have thought about getting one. But I said, you know what? So it's either it's gonna come down to the wide body scat pack or the, the Hellcat. So um, did a lot of digging. Um, I looked at different states as well because I was even considering going out of state to buy a 392 or a Hellcat. So it really came down to the price of the car, uh, which I'm actually gonna make a video on that to tell you guys you know, how much I pay you know, uh, per month. And to be honest, I haven't made my first payment yet, obviously, because it's a new car. And usually when you get a new car, it takes a while for your payments to kick in. So that's, you know, that's pretty obvious. But I will make a video on that and, you know, how much I pay for my insurance and stuff like that. I just saw, <laughs> that's a stinger right there. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get into that. But for anybody that's looking to purchase this car, you really need to consider what you're buying the car for in the first place, right? Um, are you buying it for the power? Are you buying it for the looks? Are you buying it because you just like Dodge all around? Or what is it exactly that's motivating you to want to buy this car? So once you determine that, then you can start to, you know, to look at the price and stuff like that. So that's basically what I did. And the main reason I bought it is because one, the looks, the power, obviously, definitely enjoy it. I never thought I would actually like it. But in some degree, it actually does scare me a bit because the, the power is, is, is just insane in this car. So anybody that thinks the 392 is slow or whatever, you better go test drive one or think twice. These cars are not slow by any means at all. So anyway, long story short, um, I got it for those reasons, but I also had to look at the price of the car. And I, I optioned it out, you know, with the Alcantara suede and, you know, all the plus groups and convenience groups or whatever Dodge puts on these things. And the honest reason is that I didn't want a car with all those amenities. I didn't want a car with all the bells and whistles. I just wanted the performance because that's what I wanted this car for. It's just the performance. That's all I care about. That's all I want. And I'm not interested in anything else. So anyway, um, after optioning out the car and realizing that I didn't want to pay anything over fifty thousand dollars, you know, or relatively around fifty thousand, um, I decided on this car. And I've done a small review on it just to kind of show you what the interior looks like. It's basically like the the base model of the wide body Charger. And I specifically got I got exactly what I wanted: the color, the style. I didn't even want the sunroof because i've had sunroofs in all my cars so to me it, do, it doesn't even matter because i don't even use my sunroof i never even used that my sunroof that much come to think of it and i wanted the price of the vehicle to be as low as possible okay for what i can afford and for what i can i can manage now obviously if i had the money i would have went all out and just got whatever option i wouldn't have cared but for the amount that i wanted to pay per month the price of the vehicle the payoff the APR interest rates, I looked at all of that, right? And I knew what I was going to the dealership to get. And ultimately that's why I decided to get this 392 wide body because it met ex exactly what I wanted. You know, it met all the needs. It met all of the requirements that I wanted in a vehicle of this type. So 
I'm noticing a lot of, uh, you know, young teenagers going out to buy the Hellcats and things like that. So that's the reason why I'm kind of bringing this up is because I did think about getting a used uh, Hellcat. And one of the biggest reasons why I didn't get it is because when you option out a wide body, a 2021 to be specific, a, a brand new car, 2021, and you look, you're looking at a used Hellcat, they're damn near almost the same price. <laughs> so, um, and I'm talking about if you're optioning it with the Alcantara and the plus groups and all that kind of stuff, right? So when you option it, it, it almost comes out even. And I'm like, okay, why would I waste money to go buy a used Hellcat, somebody that's, you know, beating up this car possibly, or even if they took good care of it, in some respects, it's a little bit beat up. They probably did like zero, you know, zero to sixties, maybe some donuts here and there or whatever. And I'm like, okay, why do I want to get this car? So give me a second guys and I'll, and I'll explain why. All right, so as I was saying, the Hellcat and the 392 wide body were damn near the same price and I'm like, why would I want to get a used Hellcat, uh, you know, on top of a brand new car, you know? And I was also thinking about the reasons, you know, for what I'm gonna use the car for. Is it gonna be a daily driver or am I just gonna do some stupid things in it or what? So you gotta kinda consider all those factors. And once you make a determination, for me personally, I'm gonna do, slightly stupid things so to speak like zero to 60s obviously take it to the track you know have some fun and get to experience what it's like to drive a 500 horsepower vehicle right that's the main reason i wanted to get this car but at the same time i did want the 707 power i think those cars are fantastic even if it's used but i also realized that the apr on used cars and i know this already and i'm sure maybe some of you guys know this the APR on used cars is a lot higher than a brand new car. Okay, that's just the bottom line. Uh, if you're gonna consider getting a used car, you better know that your APR is gonna be up. Well, I mean, even if you have good credit, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna be higher than you getting a brand new car. So I'm like, okay, why don't I just get myself a 392? Because first of all, I know for a fact I'm not gonna use the 707 in a Hellcat. There's no way I'm gonna be able to use that amount of power. I mean, even if I went to the track, that's probably the only place I'm gonna use it. Now with the 392, I feel like it's a little bit more usable daily-wise, and I can manage the power a little bit better than the Hellcat. So ultimately, that's the reason why I decided to stick with this car. Not just because of the looks, but the wide wheels too, because you do need the grip on the road uh, for this type of power. So anybody that has a Hellcat, wide body out there whether it's 2020 or 2021 whatever you got you know exactly what i'm talking about um this car still slides <laughs> even with these 305 wide tires it's kind of ridiculous it's kind of funny but it's true and once you get a feel of the car like i'm still learning the vehicle right now it's taking me uh, some time because even though I drive it as much as I am, and uh, by the way, now I'm at 701 <laughs> miles because I can't stop driving the car, but I, I still can't use the full potential of the car because I'm in the city for one. And two, um, I don't do a lot of uh, highway driving unless I'm going you know, out, you know, out of the city or for whatever reason. But to be honest, I don't even use the full potential of the car. You know, So that's another reason. So the 392 fit my bill perfectly, but I think it's a good idea for anybody that's looking to buy this car to really think about those things and really consider what you're gonna use the car for. Now, if you're going to like car meets and stuff like that, doing donuts and that's your type of thing, then that's perfectly fine. Do you, right? It's your car, do whatever you want. But for me, uh, and especially with what's going on with the police out there and a lot of these guys going out to car meets, especially, you know, young guys, no shade on you, but to be honest, like, Anybody that has a 392 that's young is probably going out to car meets and doing donuts and doing some crazy stuff. There's a lot of videos out there of them, you know, getting chased by cops and it's a little bit out of control. So I would just say if you're going to buy one, just be safe out there. You know, take care of yourself. You don't want to get any kind of heat on you for any kind of reason. So, 
you know, with that being said, guys, that's those are my reasons. But I got a lot more videos coming up here pretty soon, like the five reasons, what I, or 10 things I like about the car, whatever. We'll get into that later on, but I just wanted to give you guys my perspective on the 392 white body. So appreciate you guys sticking out and hanging out on this channel. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the comments. Guys, I appreciate it very much, and I'll definitely see you in the next one here soon.